following my past three videos, today I'm showing you guys 10 mod packs that earned the title of mod packs of the year. These were released in 2023 and managed to garner lots of attention. Now, without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Versatile is a mod pack that offers a lot. The first thing here is the amount of guidebooks you'll have at the beginning, alongside two backpacks the Traveler's Backpack and the Endless Backpack. You will commonly encounter massive structures, and while they look compelling to enter, I'd recommend leaving them for later, since they are dense with deadly creatures. Entering the caves is also a dangerous feat, with spider nests and undead mobs all over the place. Once you meet your demise here, don't worry, the versatile mud pack offers you a second chance by concealing your items in a grave, along with guiding you to your death location. Through your journey, you'll also come across peaceful communities, such as the new villages, when going to a nice location, it is recommended that you pay attention to the structures because you may very well come across the Leech Tower, a place where the Leech boss lays waiting for its next victim. This is a boss that you can't hit with your sword, so your aim will determine your fate. Going to the Nether was a big surprise. Not only was the terrain enhanced, but completely replaced. That is the effect of the better Nether mod as you'll notice colorful fields and mythical creatures floating around. And to think that the nether will be a break from violence, well, you are very much delusional, my friend. The battle has just began. One of the bosses that I combated was Wildfire. The boss is near impossible to defeat, and you'll notice a level indicator on top of it. In this mod pack, if you don't gain XP and progress, you'll be crushed by the weakest mobs. So, I would recommend taking that into consideration before going into a fight with some behemoths. Now, to the finest stages of the game, the end. The stronghold has been changed due to a mod called End Remastered. Here, you'll be able to loot some of the chests for valuable artifacts and weapons. After that comes the brutal part of it, the underground. And do you remember the progression system I talked about earlier? It does apply to even weaker mobs such as the zombies. So again, don't go around scouting for the end before leveling up. So, in my case, I'll just run away like a coward. Also, never miss out on the loot chest here. Just saying. Now to the main hall, the end portal. Last time when I reviewed another mod pack, I remember not knowing how to activate it. When I finally reached the end portal, however, the unexpected happened. My IO vendor wasn't in the mood. But now, your boy came prepared. You actually need to have all 12's new Eyes of Ender, which you can obtain through various adventures. After that, you can travel to the end. And with the help of Yang's Better End Island, this place has received a massive improvement. The dragon will be harder to reach due to it flying on top of the castle. So having building blocks is necessary here. From this point on out, you can break the end crystals to prohibit the dragon from regeneration health and wait for its landing. If you somehow manage to kill it, you'll get the chance to discover the beauty of the bitter end terrains. Similar to the bitter nether, this place doesn't resemble its vanilla counterpart and will decorate this dimension with glowing blocks and new mobs. If you happen to see this structure, it means it is time for another vicious battle against the boss from the mod of bosses of mass destruction, and it is the obsidilich. I wouldn't really call this a battle, more like a low level player being abused by a mega boss. I, for some reason, lost all of my armors and couldn't even dent this boss. Again, this shows how important progression is in this mod pack. I really loved and enjoyed Versatile and despite the performance issues I encountered at first, I'd consider it indeed a mod pack of the year. To begin, we must first address the beautiful foliage in the Valhalsia 6 mod pack. With the help of Zali textures, complementary shaders, and wall gen mods, the terrain became rather fascinating, and you'll be surprised by all kinds of new blocks and magical ambient sounds. Another thing that stood out to me was the structure's diversity. It would really be difficult to spend a long time before finding one of these cool dungeons. Some of them are quite helpful, like the waste zones over here. You'll also most likely enjoy scavenging these ruins since they can have some pretty detailed blocks and even some cooking materials from the farmer's delight. 
engineering wasn't neglected, would you been able to construct a rocket and fly over the planet? However, if that's too much for you, you can just make various machines using the create mod. And if you are into battle and fighting, then this mod pack will provide you with some bosses that will humble you. In total, the Valhalla CSX is quite of an enjoyable mod pack, and you will have lots of fun getting deeper and deeper into its many features. From the start, we get introduced to the relaxing main menu of the aged mod pack, a collection of mods designed specifically to form a brutal, realistic experience. Things like leaves will be passable, so don't even think of parkouring over them. Walk around the river and you'll notice a dynamic third person, which is a functionality on the better third person mod. After that, there are wakes, and the ones presented in this mod pack are kinda different, both in colors and textures, so that they can match the shader's water and even match different types of boats, or I must say, ships. After a long while, you can craft them, and they can help you travel across the river and meet new people. As you can see, the villagers are refreshed, and look smooth. But there is an issue, the guard villagers are still vanilla. To fix that, I would recommend adding the freshly modded pack. With it, you'll enjoy seeing the fresh animations on outsider mobs. There is a problem though, this pack does ruin the vindicator's animation. So I hope the creator of this mod pack finds a way to slide this pack in, because it really is that important. By the way, there's also new members added to the raid, so that they can match the power of the guard villagers. The way in which you start here is different. You can't break trees with your bare hands anymore, so we'll have to go around collecting rocks, flints and sticks. Don't worry though, since the forest is abundant with those raw materials. After that, you can place a crafting rock, and place the items visually and click with a rock to form the tool you want. And there you go, you can now cut a tree which will take a bit of time, due to the new cutting mechanism. The aged mud pack, although it's brutal and hard, but it is one of the few better options in the realism category, and the only thing that I think it lacks is the physics mod. A Halloween mud pack is Fear Nightfall. This is the most horrifying mud packs I've ever tried. So, when it's daytime, things will be relatively peaceful, nothing crazy. But once it's night time, oh god, you better have a place to stay in, because if you happen to be homeless at this time, you're a goner. You'll begin to see glowing eyes on the distance, with hideous sounds sending shivers down your spine. If you were lucky enough to find a place to stay in, then never open the door. You may be in for a shock, since a long line of ghosts and undead mobs are waiting to eat you alive. This is one of the few mud packs that made me feel genuine fear. One of the most immersive mud packs I've ever tried is Symbolica. Throughout your journey, you'll notice 3D models, smooth textures, advanced animations, and more. There's also a completely different villager system. Villagers now need to look at you for a set period of time to be familiar with you. There are also new trading maps such as the Kobold. And there's also a bounty board giving you the chance to stretch your adventure even more. The symbolic landscapes are not in short of gorgeous, since everything seems to be alive and moving. If you are an archaeologist, then this mud pack got you covered. You spawn with a brush, which you can use to uncover ancient fossils and treasures. And even if you are a warrior, then you are also welcomed here, as this mud pack is densely filled with dangerous foes to battle, most notably the Lady Ghost, Captain Cornelia. With a bus bar and the music of her own, this battle will be legendary. Just be careful as she is fast, powerful, and regenerates health whenever needed. At one point, if you manage to exhaust her ability to regenerate, she will die. Dropping a helmet, a Christmas candy, and a frozen key to a hidden treasure. A quick side note, 
There's also the possibility of adjusting your third person exactly as you'd like. One of the most notable parts about this mod pack is the possibility of engineering your own airships from simple materials. Those can be used to travel through lands and some can even carry all of your items for you. I reviewed this mod pack multiple times in the channel and it never fails to impress me. So I'd recommend you give it a try and don't miss out on this adventure. An amazing mod pack for exploration is Exploria. Makes sense, right? In the Exploria world, you can discover new locations, use magic to fend off enemies, and even take in members for your crew. The ancient city in this mod pack is quite vast and filled with elevators and bunch of chests and banners. And one of the best parts about Exploria is how you can set up your own town with a variety of buildings and towers to place that got different functionalities and limitless possibilities. Being made by the same people as the past two mod packs, the Avalon is surely a top tier medieval experience with over 200 mods. The mod pack is brutally difficult and it also includes a progression system which means you will have to kill weaker mobs to level up and also go around and discover new structures with new people. The mod pack can be very realistic at times. For example, never get closer to a tree that is about to fall and don't try to clutch your way down like that. You are still a beginner and your HP is quite low. In the Avalon mod pack, you'll get to see some of the most breathtaking biomes like this blood lake for example. And the land is so abundant in structures that you will occasionally find them very very close to one another. When you see a tower of the wild, I would recommend climbing it since you will be able to set a waste zone. And when looting the chest here, you receive a new item called the paraglider. This is a lifesaver tool as it will slow down your falling speed, which allows you to jump off any height with no problem. What I love about the Avalon is the amount of NPCs you can interact with and even steal from. Some places you will come across includes a public library and a Japanese house. Be careful though, as not all of these structures hold hospitable people. This mod pack also offers an enhanced version of the villages we know. The houses look much more detailed, with them having chimneys, gardens, statues and more. And you could even find villages above the clouds. I especially love those type of villages. They give the mod pack that mythical and fantasy theme. The Avalon mod pack is an incredible project that was created only two months ago, but it sure did earn a place in this special list. In Chosen's modded adventure, you get a starter kit as usual, but this one is a bit different, since you receive a boomerang and a fire extinguisher. Also, you don't need to explore too much before finding a structure which is always a plus. While looting this tower, be careful, as it just might be a trap waiting for you. In the forest, you may come across magicians, with them having similar designs as the pillagers. This magician reminds me of the illusioner, as it summons a couple of clowns around. All of them will shower you with arrows, and it is your job to find the real one and kill it. The battle against the magician was very exhausting, and upon his death, he'll drop a new type of totems. Speaking of magic, it's also very common for you to come across these type of castles. The kind that remind me of the witch castles in some of the movies. Being a place of witchcraft and sorcery, this place has some interesting loot. So it's worth the trouble after all. This mud pack is so relaxing and I love walking next to the river, listening to the beautiful ambient sounds. This forest walk however, can be rewarding sometimes as you will come across some loot chests that are yours for the taking. And why not bring a friend with you? Would that be a player or a donkey? In the Chosen's modded adventure, almost every corner is interesting to explore. Random bridges crossing the rivers, abundance of towers and dungeons, and some fantastic woods to immerse into. This mod pack stood out to me as a very advanced version of Minecraft since it doesn't alter the original display of the game, with it having no fancy textures or abnormal creatures roaming around. An RPG mod pack that blew up over the past 12 months is Downcraft. This is a mod pack that literally took the developers an entire year to complete. 
and it sure did pay off since the initial trailer of the mud pack reached over 1 million views with the official mud pack nailing almost 5 million downloads. This mud pack aimed to provide the players with an extensive RPG experience with a total of 250 mods. Downcraft featured everything that has to do with RPG, whether that be player repetition, progression system, battles and more. You'll also be introduced to all sorts of mythical creatures, new animals, monsters and many many more. All of this contributed in Downcraft being the number one option for any RPG fan and it surely is one of the best if not the best mod pack released this year. A mod pack specified in recreating the promotional trailers inside of Minecraft is the Loris trailer recreation. This mod pack delivered almost every single aspect of the trailer, most notably the animations alongside the textures of the maps. As you can see, various parts of the maps are moving, from their limbs down to the small elements such as eyebrows and even eyeballs. In addition, spiders will be a living nightmare. When running away from them, even if you climb the surface that is relatively impossible for them to crawl, they will very much crawl and jump right at you. The combat animations have been revamped as well using the Better Combat mod. Cave dust is added to the underground surfaces. Deserts have sandstorms. And the Badlands deserts have red sandstorms. Multiple vanilla animations have been improved. And there are even wakes added to the boat and even the player's collision. This mod pack is a clear upgrade over the previous trailer mod pack and is the best option for this type of recreations. Thanks for following this series of videos where I show Minecraft projects of the year and there will be one last video of this series coming in few days from now. Happy new year in advance and consider subscribing if this video helped you in any meaningful way my friend. See ya in the next one.